Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen. Um, it's pretty much going to be uh, kayak week this week. I am down here at Bienville Plantation again with uh, with kayak bass fishing, and uh, they're having what's called their 10 competition, where the top 10 in points for last year's uh, series, K KBF series, are fishing for a winner take all $10,000. So I'm down here kind of covering that. I'm going to do some videos about that. I know a lot of you guys are uh, ask quite often how I rig my kayak and I finally got it to where I can fish it minus the fish finder that I haven't bought yet but uh, I've got it to where I, I, I like it and where I like to fish it the thing about a kayak that I'm I'm quickly learning is depending on what species you're going for or where you're fishing or how you're fishing you want to rig your kayak different so the way I have it rigged today is I have my big rig rigged as I was fishing a lake um, and a lake with a lot of shallow structure if it was a deep lake where I was going to fish offshore I'd make sure I have a fish finder on it but anyway so let's go over and look at it I'll run you through from from bow to stern and uh, and show you uh, everything I got on it and and uh, and just talk about the the reasons why I have it rigged the way I have it rigged all right so there she is that's my uh, it's my big rig and uh, going from the front to the back what I've got here is I've got a, a ram mount it's got a ram ball that actually screws into the quarter 20 hole that the original screw from the handle goes into screws right in nice and tight and then I mount a, a GoPro Hero 5 on the front with voice control so I can turn it on or, or start it and stop it without having to uh, reach all the way up and hit it. And I don't have to hook it up to the remote that I use for the back camera. So it gives me some pretty cool little stand-up shots. Uh, the paddle is a, a Benning Branches Angler Pro. A really good lightweight paddle. I love that it's adjustable. Nothing in the hatch. This is where I'd put all my camping gear if I was doing some overnighters, and I plan on doing some of those this year uh, with old fat boy Chad Hoover. All right, so right here I've got my uh, my front camera mount. This is a a, a pan fish from uh, from Yak Attack. Got a ram mount down here, a mighty mount down at the bottom. I could have mounted it to like one of those little things right there or mounted it somewhere over here, but I wanted it as close to center. And I don't really like this channel right here in the middle. First of all, that's where my fish finder is going to go. Second of all, it uh, it wobbles a little too much for this camera. You put, you know, put a camera up there, you got all this weight up above, and it wobbles really, really bad. So you put it in that mighty mount. That mighty mount screws in with four screws. Tighten it down, and it really is a nice, stable platform for a GoPro. Okay, I leave the deck pretty much clean. I may have some rods laying in it. Um, in both sides, I keep my rods right here. It's got a little rod holder in the big rig, as you guys can see up front. Tips run into those little tubes. Another one on the other side. And then, uh, of course, I got my PFD. Uh, don't have any tackle under here right now, but this is where I'll throw all the tackle when I'm changing lures out or I have a small box right here that um, Holds the stuff I'm going to use for the day after I figure it out a, out a pattern But a lot of space up underneath the underneath the seat. All right, so this is my net uh, It's a fray bill large trout net. I got it at Gander Mountain really like it short handle uh, but big enough to you know to, to land a big fish It's really easy to get to when it's mounted when it's in this uh, this ram tough tube that I've got sitting back here behind my seat a little bag that I've got two bottles of water I'll throw my everything you know a lot of stuff in there my phone goes goes in a box under the seat and uh, so I don't put my phone back over there but just things I need to get to fairly quickly just turn out and unzip it the black pack so the black, black packs where all my tackle is the one thing that I do not like about a black pack and I'm gonna fix this problem is my red um, Bass Mafia box does not come out of it very easily. It gets stuck coming out. So until they fix that, I'm going to get my Dremel tool and I'm going to cut this little thing right here wide and I'm going to take this mount off right here because I don't really use it and I'm going to cut this wide right there so I can uh, so I can get those that box in and out. At least that's what I'm going to do for right now. Uh, I don't think I have much of a choice. Got three rod tubes on the back. Where I put my rods. These are the leashes that I made. Big old carabiners. Uh, got some elastic straps right there. Heat shrink. This is a an optional camera mount that sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. But uh, it sticks down in that 
in that pole or in that uh that rod tube really really easily you mount the gopro right up there but the one i use the most let's go around the other side the one i use the most is same thing i use on my boat if you guys can see right here this is the uh the boom pole from Yolotech that I use on the back of my boat. But what I've done, taken a whole bunch of that Gorilla Tape and wrapped it around that end and made it nice and fat. So it jams down, jams right down in that tough tube, really tight. And the only thing is, is I need to make sure that this camera mount right here is level. So you just rotate it until it gets level and play around with it. And it extends way up. Like I said, it's an eight foot extension pole. So it'll extend way up and down and I can move it around and then uh, I run it off of my my remote control so and then a little hatch in the back but last but not definitely not least least is my uh, my power my power pole micro anchor uh, this is the battery powered one and I keep a remote control around my neck when I'm using that and that's it that's how i've got it rigged up fairly basic not a whole lot of bells and whistles things hanging off the side of the boat oh and my my pliers and uh got this little cool little leash you can get these at yak attack too but anyway comes out and i just leave it right there and it stays there the whole time but uh but that's about it that's the uh that's the big rig today like i said it changes quite often I may change a whole lot of things on it eventually, but uh, everything that I talk about, all these little, you know, the rods, the reels, everything that's on this boat, I'll leave a link in the description uh, about what they are and, and, and links to where you can go and find out more about it and about each of the products just to, to, to save you guys some time. But uh, that's the big rig and I absolutely love this kayak. I'll be doing a review over on my review channel one day uh, about it. But as for right now, it's time to go fishing. I'm down here where the big boy, big girls live, so we'll go see if we can catch some. But uh, like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish. Uh, before we leave, check out my Fishing Shirt of the Month Club. Uh, also, join me on uh, on the KBF uh, Facebook page. I'll leave a link down in the description. Come down and check it out. If you're interested in kayak fishing, that's really where you ought to be hanging out and asking those guys who know a whole lot more than me uh, a bunch of questions and have them answered about your kayak. So they've got a really good, really active uh, Facebook page. But um, uh, that's their plug. Anyway, well, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching, and, uh, and be sure you subscribe to my channel. Take it easy.